Super Bowl celebrations are underway in New York, this year's host city. With so much glitz and glamour, many fans are surprised to learn that the National Football League is considered a nonprofit organization under the U.S. tax code. It's hard to believe. I did not know that. It's very hard to believe. Well, considering how much money I pay for tickets, uh, I would think that they are making a profit. The NFL runs the most profitable sports league in the world, making $9 billion a year. But it's classified as a trade association. That means that the head office here on New York's Pricey Park Avenue pays no taxes. Everyone at headquarters was too busy to speak to us on camera, including NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell, who makes $30 million a year. But a spokesperson told Al Jazeera in an email, the league office does not make any money. The $9 billion a year is earned solely and completely by the 32 NFL teams. And the teams do pay tax on their revenues, including ticket sales, jerseys, and the food and drink sold at games. So we've had a huge amount of economic growth over the last 40 years. But sports economist Victor Matheson says the tax-free status does benefit the teams. The primary goal of the NFL is not to make football better or more popular. They're trying to make money selling football. The tax-free dollars can be used to finance stadium construction, for example. And while this year's Super Bowl will be held at the only stadium in the country built completely with private money, the team pays no property tax. It's a terrible deal for the taxpayers in New Jersey. The local mayor says the economic benefits promised by the NFL have yet to materialize. It's almost as if the NFL wants to make all this money and they don't want anybody else to make money on it. Matheson agrees. Uh, if you're looking purely in terms of dollars and cents, there simply is almost no uh, credible evidence that professional sports bring significant economic benefits to the cities that host them. Of course, football does bring a lot of enjoyment to the fans. They just might not realize how much they're paying for it. Kristen Salumi, Al Jazeera, New York.